As you can see, we made it. We're set up. The deck's out. We even got the Blackstone on the deck. That means we ain't moving it. We don't plan <laughs> on moving it. We're set up. For two whole weeks. And <laughs> Located in southern New Jersey is Maze Landing Campcraft. Now it is an encore park, which means it's part of Thousand Trails Trails Collection. Now this park may be tiny, but it does offer a ton of amenities. In fact, on the weekends, they have a live DJ in the house. She might look familiar. She's a fellow RV YouTuber, Sonia, the RV DJ. As you roll into the campground, you'll see several different buildings. But this one here is the actual registration office and camp store. Their camp store is well stocked. Everything from snacks to pool toys, firewood, drinks. You forgot something at home, they've got it here. This is a gated park, so you do need a code to get in. Plus, it keeps the riffraff out. Now, to be honest, when they told us the site that we were in, we looked at the map, and it looked a little tight. But just taking our time and being guided by one of the staff there, we made it in just fine. In fact, between our truck and our 44-foot toy hauler, we had plenty of room to fit in this site. Not only did we have room off to the side to let out our side patio and our awnings, but we had enough room in the back for our rear patio too. We lucked out and got one of four pull-through sites that had full hookups with the 50 amp service and cable. We were celebrating a birthday, but more on that later. The campground is open from April 1st to the end of October, and we did arrive when it was still chilly in the air, so the pool wasn't filled, but there is a pool for those hot summer days. As well as a nice pavilion and grill right next door. Obviously, this here is the laundry facilities. Uh, we did want to comment on the price of the washing machine. Three dollars for a super cycle, two seventy-five for regular. That's a little steep in our opinion. Now they do also have a full-service bathroom with toilets and with showers. Now the decor may be a little dated, but they do have everything you need and everything is nice and clean. Our site was actually right next to this playground here. It's a nice area for the kids to explore. Now this park does have 162 sites, but if you don't have an RV, they do have cabins for rent. They do have multiple seasonal folks who frequent this campground. Because it is an older park, they don't have a lot of large sites. So they do mostly have smaller sites like these for an example, but they do offer 50 and 30 amp service. Another concern we had during our stay was the exit. It was a little tight, but just take your time. We got out, no problem. This park does have its own fishing pond, which means there's nearby geese who frequent the park as well. And just beyond the pond are the tent sites. These sites also offer water, 
electric, and cable. So feel free to bring that big screen. This is a quiet campground nestled in nature amongst the trees, but that means it's also about 10 minutes from the town of Bay's Landing and it's shopping. We always enjoy finding familiar comforts, like this here is one of our favorite chain brunch restaurants. First one. And it's about 45 minutes from the park. About 40 minutes from the RV park is Atlantic City. We celebrated Bella's birthday with a special dinner at what I'm Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. And just a short hour and 10 minute drive is the city of Philly, home to the Liberty Bell. The First Continental Congress. Don't forget to eat a Philly. And of course, where Rocky Balboa was based out of. You're and of course, if you enjoyed the video, you found it entertaining, make sure that you also hit the thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. So Thank you again for watching. I'm Natasha. I'm Bill. And we are Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy.